What's going on everybody? This is Darren from Affordable Shoe Review. Here to review some shoes for your friends and you. And today guys, we are gonna be doing a resale video on the latest Jordan 11 holiday drop. Can't wait to go into it with you, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you are new here, please go like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you very much for stopping by and checking out my video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to rock with my content. And now let's get into the resale video for this pair of Jordan 11. Now, every year for the holidays, Nike and Jordan release a pair of Air Jordan 11s. And this year, we happen to get the Air Jordan 11 DMP or Gratitude. And I absolutely love the way that this Jordan 11 looks. This is such a clean pair. And people are going to love this pair because it's so reminiscent of the Concords, which is probably the most popular pair of Jordan 11s uh, that you could own right now. But this pair is very, very reminiscent of that pair. So this will definitely be, be a high demand shoe. Now, when we do resale videos here on the Affordable Shoe Review channel, I like to give you my resale predictions for one day after release, one week after release, one month after release, and then one year after release. So you can hear what my predictions are as far as resale for this sneaker are going to be in all of those different facets. Now this pair has a lot of stock as do most of the Air Jordan 11 holiday specials. Last year the Cherries had a lot of stock, the year before that the Jubilees had a lot of stock, and this is no different. There's going to be a ton of stock for the Air Jordan 11 Gratitudes. And even so, or even so much, that some pairs are already going for less than retail and it hasn't even hit the official release date yet. There's already been a shock drop, there's already been exclusive access on the sneakers app, but it hasn't even gotten to the official release date and we've already got some pairs that are going under retail. Now with a retail price of $230, it does make sense that some of these are going under retail. 230 is very, very steep for a, a basic Jordan 11, but prices are going up for all sneakers at this point. Um, inflation is no joke, so Nike is not immune to that, so they have bumped up the price for a lot of their shoes. Now, for the larger sizes, if you are a reseller yourself and you want to have some resale value on sneakers like this, the value is gonna be in the bigger sizes. This size right here is a size 13, that is my size, and uh, they're selling consistently around $260 at the moment, which is about $30 over retail. Now, before we get into the resale, I do want to go over the materials used on this pair. You've got the white and black contrasting materials. You've got the white uh, tumbled leather used on the upper, surrounded by the black patent leather, which is typical for your Air Jordan 11s. Now, with this pair, you do have a couple of pops of gold with the gold Jumpman on the heel and then the gold 23 on your heel tab. That, that's pretty awesome. I love those gold pops that definitely gives it some, some color and some life and something to break up the white and black all over. Lastly, you do have the milky translucent or semi-translucent outsoles. You all can see that right there. Now, I do bring this up because right now through Cyber Monday, you can actually grab some Drip Grip premium outsoles with the code AFFORDABLE30 on dripgrip.com to protect the outsoles of your sneakers. You will get 30% off on their website. You can see that I've already used these on my origin story Air Jordan 1s right here. And you can see right there, I've added the drip grip to the bottom of these translucent outsoles so that they do not get messed up as I walk around in them. I've walked around in these twice for an extended period of time and they show no, time, no signs of tearing or anything like that. So drip grip premium outsoles, go ahead and get 30% off code affordable30 Grab them to protect the outsoles of your sneakers, like the Jordan 11 Gratitudes right there with that semi-translucent outsole. Now, since some sizes of this shoe are already going under retail, some of the resale predictions are gonna be very, very low for this pair. So I think on release day and the day after release day, I think that these are going to creep up about 10 bucks. So depending on your size, they're gonna be right around retail, or if you have a larger size, they're gonna be above retail between 260 and 270 would be my guess as people missed on these if anybody missed on these they're gonna have to pay resale if they want them immediately after release so one day after release i'm gonna guess around retail but the bigger sizes i'm gonna guess 30 to 40 dollars above retail now one week after release as people start getting their pairs in i see resale dropping back down to the smaller sizes being slightly under retail, and I actually see the larger sizes getting closer to retail. 
So I see after one week, they're gonna drop to that 245 to 250 range in the larger sizes, and probably the 210 to 220 range in the smaller sizes, just below retail. Now, one month after release is where I think that they're gonna start to creep back up again. So the smaller sizes I think are gonna creep back towards retail. Um, they might get back to retail after a month or two, but after a month, I'm gonna say they're gonna be five to 10 bucks just below retail. And for the larger sizes, I think they're gonna uh, creep back up to that 250, 260 mark after about a month. Now, the big one is gonna be after one year. And I do think that this pair in particular is going to be a very good long-term hold. Because it looks so reminiscent to the Concord 11s, I think this is gonna be a covetable colorway in the future. So with that said, I think after a year, if you're able to hold these for a long period of time, these are definitely going to go up in value. Um, the smaller sizes after a year, I can see slightly over retail. So finally moving to that 240, 250, maybe even 260 mark. And for the larger sizes, I could see these touching 300 after a year and people realizing how awesome of a colorway this was for the Air Jordan 11. Now, let me know down below what your resale predictions are for this pair of Air Jordan 11s, the Air Jordan 11 DMP or Gratitude. I'm gonna call these the Gratitudes. I love that name, I think it's super dope. But let me know down below your resale predictions. I appreciate you all for tuning in. Please stay safe, stay blessed. We will see you soon and peace out.